welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about fragrances in my collection that smell super luxurious, super luxe, super rich, super expensive. I feel ultra refined when I wear these fragrances, you guys. If you want to hear about them, just keep watching. So before we get started with this video, please don't forget to take a second to hit that subscribe button. You have no idea how much that helps me. That's the best way to support the creators you love. And also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because we have a lot of fun over there. And these fragrances not only smell rich, but they smell classy. And these fragrances sure help you feel that way from inside out. Rich people don't really try to look rich, but this is more about how you feel because what you feel inside is what you exude on the outside. That's what look naturally authentic. If you wanna look classy, then you gotta feel classy on the inside and feel rich and sophisticated and luxurious on the inside and then you will show it on the outside whether you have money or not. So that's what this video is about. So let's see what those fragrances are that make me feel just that way. So you guys, I'm going to start with a perfume that has the most luxe packaging ever. It's so stunning, so breathtaking, the bottles. This collection, ah, I tip my hat to Christian Louboutin. Gorgeous red glass bottles with very heavy silver caps Wow, this collection, the bottle design was next to none. You know which line I'm talking about. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Brood, you guys. My goodness, does this fragrance smell luxe, sophisticated, sort of mysterious, and very classy all at the same time. This scent reminds me of the 1920s Paris and the very like high class you know society folk at that time in paris the fashion the high fashion society folk you know from the 1920s that's really what this scent reminds me of this is inspired by 1920s cabarets and cabarets in paris in general i see that i can see that you guys uh, this is a very beautiful kind of iris powdery scent. Uh, there's vanilla in here too. This is a very warm spicy vanilla iris violet powdery sort of aromatic um, a little bit earthy scent. There are some beautiful like powdery notes like iris in here. I'm pretty sure there might be violet or that violet accord comes from iris. I would say at least a couple of powdery notes. They've only revealed like three fragrance notes, you guys, but you know there are more than that in here. They don't reveal fragrance notes, some fragrance houses these days. So the only notes they have revealed are cardamom, iris, and vanilla, but I know that this has a lot more than that. It's quite the complex fragrance, you guys. I would say there's some kind of um, earthy notes in here that could be patchouli in here. I think there might be patchouli. There might be like oak moss or vetiver, something like that. There are some woody notes in here for sure. I smell either sandalwood or, you know, cedar, one of those kinds of woody notes in here as well. Uh, there's cardamom, obviously, which is a revealed note, but I feel like there are more spice notes, maybe cinnamon, something like that, like another warm spicy note. Obviously a big, big dose of vanilla. Uh, it smells quite complex and quite, quite classy. Very like the 1920s rich upper class in Paris that had to do a lot with art and music and fashion. That's kind of what this reminds me of. It transports me to this 1920s, you know, like society gathering kind of deal, like the cabarets in Paris. It's such a, it makes me feel some kind of way inside. That's really the point. It smells very rich, very expensive, very sophisticated, 
and classy. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge. So I have another one from the same collection I'm also going to talk about here. This smells very luxe from the suede note that's in here, which makes it smell so rich, so expensive, so like refined kind of scent. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Raj. My goodness, you guys, this smells also super expensive. I would say this entire line, maybe with the exception of Luby Funk and Luby Do, smells super like high class, expensive. Um, I also have Luby Crown upstairs and Luby Kiss. They both also smell very expensive, but these two are the ones I think that smell super, super luxe, super expensive and very kind of rich. So this one, you guys, is, like I said, it's a beautiful suede scent. That suede adds this very expensive touch to this fragrance. Smells very expensive. This is a very soft, spicy, leather, woody, musky, slightly sweet, and slightly powdery scent. The only revealed notes are pink pepper in the opening, suede in the middle, and woody notes in the base. Uh, but it is a lot more than that. I can tell you there's a big dose of musk in here. I mean, I can already, I can tell you that without knowing that at all. There's definitely musk in here and there are some powdery notes, maybe like violet or iris or, or something like that, something that's powdery in here as well. There are some other soft spicy notes other than pink pepper that's in here that um. I'm picking up some more. There is definitely suede because it's a reveal note as well. There might be patchouli in here, I don't know, but yeah, there are definitely a lot more notes than that in here. They have not revealed all of them. This one smells, like I said, very, very expensive and luxe from that suede note. That's what makes it smell very expensive. I feel very rich and sort of sophisticated when I wear this fragrance. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Raj. So the next one is from a fragrance house that I just adore. The DNA of this fragrance house is unmistakable. When you smell it, you know which fragrance house, what perfume that is, and who created it. It's none other than, of course, Raja Parfums by Raja Dove. And this one is Raja Parfums, a danger parfum. Oh my goodness, you guys. I mean, starting from this bottle, look at that bottle. Look at those jewels, those beautiful crystals. And, you know, the bottle itself is luxury. And... The scent, Ooh, this smells so, this smells so sophisticated and seductive at the same time, if that even makes sense. This is very seductive, it's a very seductive, captivating scent, you guys. It kind of is bewitching, it kind of captures you, you know. But at the same time, it's very expensive, very luxurious, very refined, very high class kind of scent which is what I love about Raja perfumes, you know, like they just are, they are just one of a kind, you know, like the DNA of Raja Parfums, unmistakable. You know when you smell it, it's Raja Parfums. I especially love the powdery, gorgeous, feminine nature of Raja perfumes for women. Oh, love that, so feminine. This is a super woody, beautiful white floral scent, you guys. It's very bewitching, narcotic and hypnotic. Oh my goodness, very seductive. You know, white florals, when done right, can be very seductive, very narcotic, bewitching, hypnotic. This also has yellow florals and a massive dose of vanilla. It's a little bit sweet. It's very floral, you know, other florals too, not just white, yellow florals. It's a little powdery um, and it has a little bit violet kind of a chord. There are some blue purple flowers in here. In the opening, it has a gorgeous bunch of citruses like mandarin, orange, bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, a beautiful bunch of citruses. It also has lemon verbena. You know, they use that in like 
body washes and stuff because it's very soothing and very you know calming kind of thing in the middle you get some gorgeous white florals like jasmine and gardenia there is ylang ylang in here which is a yellow floral there is violet in here which gives it that violet kind of scent the powderiness um, there's of course rose in here there's peach for a little fruity juicy touch and in the base you get a massive dose of vanilla and tonka bean so it's a very deep uh, vanilla accord that's in here and there's sandalwood of course for that sensual touch as always is a beautiful woody note there's orris root adding to that powderiness there's cloves musk and patchouli musk is very sexy as you know just the composition is amazing you guys and i know that there are more fragrance notes in here that are making it this gorgeous beautiful composition that smells so divine so rich so luxurious at the same time very seductive hypnotic narcotic captivating this is raja parfums danger parfum Next, I have a fragrance that I talk about all the time, you guys, and you already know how much I love this fragrance. And you know, I talk about how expensive and luxurious it smells. It smells super classy. And I can't tell you enough times how classy it smells. It makes me feel very like, very, very sophisticated. I wear this when I go to have high tea with my husband. That's like my go-to scent for that with two other fragrances that I will also wear, but this is like one of my go-to for high tea and classy occasions. This one is none other than Oud Rose Entends. You guys, you know this is a fresh rose fragrance. There's something very fresh in here. This is a very rose and fruity and fresh, spicy, woody, aromatic citrus oud, powdery and a little bit warm, spicy scent. It's got a bunch of really beautiful fruity notes with bergamot. And in the middle, you get that gorgeous rose with geranium, sandalwood and ember. And then, of course, in the base, you get that clean, crisp, organic, oud that fragrance dubois is known for you guys they grow their own oud you know this story it doesn't smell like your average oud that smells very kind of strong it's not that at all the fragrance dubois oud is just such a beautiful clean crisp oud it's very special that's what makes it smell so expensive it's not that barnyard kind of oud at all it's very clean crisp oud this one has like a very beautiful freshness about it i think geranium has something to do with it too geranium and rose mixed together with the fresh spices i think produces that sort of freshness almost that smells like again i don't want to say mint because the moment i say mint your minds go there it's not a minty freshness but it's like a there's something very fresh and refreshing about this fragrance and I'm guessing it comes from the fresh spices in here with the geranium and rose combo. Um, there are some amazing fresh spices in here, maybe some that they haven't revealed. D definitely there's like some fresh spices that's, that's making, making this smell that very unique freshness. When I wear this, I feel so rich, so luxe, so refined, so sophisticated. This is Fragrance du Bois. Oud Rose Entrance. Then I have another one from Fragrance du Bois. This one smells super expensive as well. And the reason is the leather note that's in here. It smells so expensive. It makes this fragrance smell super, super, super expensive. It's none other than Fragrance du Bois Siberian Rose. You guys, this scent. Oh, it smells so, so rich and sexy, expensive all at the same time. It smells like a sexy woman who's rich. Very sexy kind of woman, you know? Almost a little bit femme fatale -ish, you know what I'm saying? I imagine myself wearing like black and, you know, leather boots and stuff like that with this fragrance. This smells very rich, super rich. Super expensive with that leather note in here. This is very much a rose, white floral, woody, leather type fragrance. It's also very aromatic, a little bit sweet. This one also has yellow florals in it and it's woody and it's a little bit soft, spicy. It's very, very, very aromatic. Guys, in the opening, this has juniper berries, which is amazing. I love that little 
piney touch in the opening with that juicy pear note in the opening it's really beautiful there's pink pepper and cinnamon in the opening giving it a little spicy opening you know with the juniper berry pineyness and then everything is softened by that beautiful you know pear note which is to me very feminine in the middle you get rose of course rose is beautiful in here there's tuberose for white florals and there's ylang ylang for yellow florals and there's that gorgeous beautiful leather note that makes this smell so expensive in the base you get amber moss and patchouli patchouli for lasting power oh my gosh you guys that leather note in here smells very very expensive um, it makes me feel not kind of like high tea kind of expensive and classy it makes me feel more like a very like sexy woman going out at night who's super rich and super sexy both at the same time it's fragrance de bois siberian rose next i have a fragrance which is expensive and smells expensive and it's been talked about to death you guys everybody talks about this fragrance it's definitely very expensive smelling fragrance this is none other than of course maison francis kirk jones baccarat rouge 540 this one you guys ah uh, this smells expensive, very refined, very unique, which is what attracts people to this fragrance. I think that unique quality, it doesn't really fall into any category, you know, solidly, you know, it, it's, it, it's not quite anywhere. It's not too sweet. It's not citrusy. It's not gourmet. It's technically an amber floral, but you guys, it's, it's more than that. I don't even like it in that box. It's like a very unique fragrance. People think it smells sweet, but it really doesn't. You know, it's not the same sweet that you smell in fragrances. This is just quite, you know, kind of a Houdini scent. It like kind of appears and disappears and it's hard to judge it. But for sure, it's a very woody, amber, kind of warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, a little bit animalic, conifer, kind of white floral fragrance. It opens with jasmine and saffron. Saffron adds kind of like that unisex touch to this fragrance. In the middle, you get that amber wood, you know, which makes this very ambery. But also to lighten it up, there's ambergris. Ambergris comes from the whales, you know, you know that sperm whales. It's like kind of a, a, a note that makes fragrances smell kind of marine fresh, you know. And uh, so it gives it a kind of a, I don't want to say salty, but it kind of gives it a, keeps it from being too sweet, uh, if you will. Uh, balances out the amber wood and in the base you get some resins like fur resin and then other woody notes like cedar this is a very unique fragrance you guys it's hard to describe it's a very expensive smelling a refined luxurious fragrance i like to wear this to my kind sort of like elegant business events for work that's kind of what i like to wear this for it's very classy this is maison francis Jean baccarat rouge 540 of course i have to talk about the straight version of the same this one smells a little bit sweeter uh, than the original but the dna is pretty much the same this one is definitely a little bit sweeter to me like slightly a little bit more this one has almond added to it which makes it a little bit more slightly more gourmet um kind of like gives it that sexy touch sexy touch almond adds to fragrances the difference is that this one has that added almond in the in the opening and in the base you get musk in this one again smells very very expensive like the original i wear it pretty much to the same type of occasions as the original this is baccarat rouge 540 extrait de parfum Next, I have a fragrance that I just recently added to my collection. I talked to death about this already. I did a dedicated review of this fragrance house. I'll link it up here down in the description box. This is a classic fragrance house that's been around for a very long time and very famous people in history like JFK and Hemingway wore fragrances from this fragrance house. Yes, it's Kriegler. This is none other than Kriegler Lovely Patchouli 55 Night. Now the night version is more strong, lasts longer than the original uh, Lovely Patchouli 55. This is so beautiful, you guys. This is a very beautiful patchouli. It's really a lovely patchouli. It's not the patchouli people think of, 
usually you know the kind of patchouli that tends to rub people the wrong way it's not that this is a beautiful patchouli it's a beautiful amber fragrance with patchouli in it and it's sweet and it's slightly boozy i'm telling you they haven't revealed the boozy note that's in here but i know there's a boozy note in here somewhere or notes that make it smell boozy it's a very woody patchouli amber scent like i said it's powdery too at the same time it's very warm spicy it's very balsamic it's got a big dose of vanilla it has a slight hint of citrus it's musky and a little earthy this has only a few notes that are revealed there's definitely a big dose of amber as you can tell by the juice color there's patchouli in here a beautiful patchouli it's not your sort of too earthy kind of dirty kind of patchouli it's a beautiful clean patchouli mixed in with those sweet notes in here with the amber with the slight resin gourmet touch it's got vanilla there's musk there's bergamot in the opening there are a lot more fragrance notes in here that they haven't revealed. Like I said, I feel like there is some kind of booze note in here that they haven't um, revealed. It could be like rum, it could be liquor, I don't know. There's something in here that smells beautiful and slightly boozy, very slightly though. This makes me feel kind of like classy and expensive. This is a very expensive smelling fragrance and it really is expensive. This cost you a fortune i'm telling you it smells expensive because it is expensive you guys it's super expensive it's one of the most expensive fragrances in my collection um, it makes me feel very rich and classy and sophisticated in a more kind of like the 1930s kind of way you know it makes me feel very sophisticated classy like the times that hemingway is from you know what i mean it's like that kind of old school kind of classy uh, sophistication this also very smells very expensive kind of high class this is lovely patchouli 55 night by Kriegler next I have a fragrance from Tom Ford which smells very expensive and sort of refined it's a beautiful fresh summer scent it reminds me of a very rich you know celebrity on a yacht you know kind of cruising along so that's kind of what I feel like when I wear this fragrance this is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc this one is very expensive smelling in a very fresh way it has that sort of yacht life vibes you know very much like a rich life on the waters kind of like you know scent people say the smell has suntan lotion uh, vibes I don't agree with that I know what they're trying to say this definitely smells very much like a beach scent that's very expensive uh, very much like a marine water marine kind of wear on the water kind of scent it's very fresh and citrusy it's got coconut it's a very white floral tuberose coconut sweet citrus yellow floral amber vanilla woody warm spicy and slightly nutty fragrance the nuttiness comes from the pistachio in the opening with that gorgeous pink pepper and the citrus notes like bergamot and there's a little bit of cardamom in the opening too giving it a beautiful spice touch in the middle you get the white and yellow florals tuberose jasmine and ylang ylang and in the base you get a big dose of coconut tonka bean amber and benzoin and benzoin smells like vanilla as well so tonka bean and benzoin gives it a nice vanilla deep vanilla touch smells very expensive yacht life kind of vibes that's kind of what i picture when i wear this fragrance i wear it to daytime summer events that you know require sort of a bit of class you know so that's what i wear this to tom ford sole blanc so yeah you guys those are the fragrances in my collection that smell very expensive very luxe very sophisticated it makes me feel very luxurious very refined and very sophisticated so that's why i love these fragrances they smell like a rich person really so these fragrances actually all were high-end luxury fragrances they smell luxurious and expensive because they are expensive so next time i'm going to do a video on fragrances that smell expensive 
but are affordable. They smell more expensive than they actually are. So I'm gonna do another video covering them. So stay tuned for that one. So you guys, let me know your thoughts down below. I love hearing from you. Let me know what you wanna see next time. I really love it when you guys talk to me and share your opinions with me, share your experiences with me. I love to have that conversation with you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. You subscribing, that's the best way to support me and commenting and talking to me, that's the best way to, to know me and support me as well. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We have a lot of fun there. I announce a lot of things on Instagram before I do on YouTube. And I also post fragrances and other makeup and you know clothing and uh, accessories and stuff like that as soon as I buy them on Instagram. And I do live updates on Instagram. So don't forget to follow me there. So you guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.